This is Abe Freetanzer from Awards Radar, and I'm thrilled to be speaking with Yul Vazquez about his role on Severance and other highlights from his career. How are you today, Yul? I'm very good, Abe. How are you doing, my friend? Good, good. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today. Thank you. So I have a lot of questions. What Do you understand everything that's going on in the world of Severance? <laughs> I I don't... I don't think anyone really does. I think I think we there's there's best guesses and uh, and you do the way I got through it is by going piece by piece. I knew the pieces I need. I needed. I, I knew uh, where I was starting and where I was ending. So I almost had an advantage in a way because I knew what my end point was. But uh, I didn't I didn't know, for example, what was going to happen at the end. I didn't have that episode. You know what I mean? So and I don't think they had the episode. I think the episodes are being put together as it's sort of moving along. Um, just having seen um, Dan and Ben in L.A. recently at the I don't know if you were at that finale. Were you at that? Uh, I wasn't, unfortunately, now um, I was talking to Dan about the next season and it, he's like, I don't know. You know I mean, it's, it's, it's so, you know, I think it's one of those things where they're conjuring it as the, as, as they go along. Right. I think it's a show that it was very good from the start, but it's also the kind of show that gets better and better as the mystery grows deeper and the people involved start to realize more what originally appealed to you about it. Um, I, well, I, I didn't know anything about it. I I've been friends with Ben for a long time and then he sent me, he sent me, it was the middle of the pandemic, and uh, I was uh, in Miami, where I, where I am now, actually. Uh, I'm here, I have a, I paint in my studio, the where I paint in is here as well. So um, I spend a lot of time, I live in New York, but I spend as much time here as I can. So Ben sent me um, the first two episodes, and uh, I, <laughs> I, when I saw PD, I was like, when I read PD, I was like, this is incredible. And he said, look, he goes, you got to trust me. He goes, it's just, it's going to get nuttier, but here's, this is the arc. And, uh, and I said, this is, this is amazing. I, I, I'd never seen, I, I hadn't been given a part like this in a very, very long time. And, and then, so we started the conversations and then we did some rehearsals, uh, via zoom with Adam and Dan and, um, and, and Ben. And then, uh, and then we, I went to New York and we started to shoot it in what I think it was around September-ish of 2020. And then what should have taken a, you know, not a very long amount of time to do took an extraordinary amount of time because we kept getting shut down because people kept testing positive. So it became this agonizing, um, you know, as I said to, I said to Ben and, and everybody, what, uh, when the, when the show really sort of became a very big hit, I I said I'm just so happy for everyone because I, I know the the blood, sweat and tears that went into making this because uh, I was there. So it was uh, it was nice to see them win. You know, everyone, all of us win. You know. Yeah, it's interesting to think, I know that every show has these pandemic restrictions, but the idea of severance, especially that in this world, let's say there was a pandemic happening, you have this very controlled environment, but then you don't know what anyone does when they leave. So you could easily be bringing in some, so it's a, that's a I mean, I'm, I'm not sure that would be as fascinating as what's happening now, but I would love to see severance the pandemic season, you know, how that went. That's actually a really good idea. That That's actually a good idea because are you are you sick on the outside and then when you come in, you're not? I mean, you know. Yeah, well, that's, that's, yeah that, that's always something that's fascinated me from the start is the idea, and I think Helly more than anyone sort of uh, gets into this, the idea of it, they make it seem like they're omniscient and they're watching everything and they know everything. And to a degree, you know, especially with Harmony, that is true. You know, they are, are monitoring. But the idea that just telling people that you know they're doing something or that you're watching can intimidate people into submission. And that's very fascinating to me. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's, it's the, um, you know, it's like, you know, that classic experiment where they, they send photons, um, they shoot photons in, in through these sort of slots. And the, uh, when, the, when they're observing the photons, they behave differently than when they're not being observed as, as if the photons know that they're being, it's, a, you know, which is 
again, it's a much bigger conversation, but it's, but as everything is linked together, you know what I mean? We are not, we're all part of the same fabric. Um, so yes. Yeah, so interesting. And I mean, what you portray with PD and the struggle, the sort of withdrawal symptoms in a, in a sense that he's going through is very powerful to watch. Did you tap into any sort of real life experience of something that's obviously severance is, is not a real thing, but something that could be like this? You know, I, I just, you know, we, I think uh, the imagination is really more powerful than anything that, that, that could has ever happened to us, really. You know, I, I'm from that school of acting, which is a Meisner it's, as opposed to a method. So the, the imaginary world that they, that Dan had created that was written was so amazing that uh, all I had to try and do was fully believe that I was that I was in that in that world, you know what I mean, and um, and then have been sort of guide, you know, nudge me here and there, you know, which he's a brilliant director. I mean, it's I've said to my actor friends, I said I I I wish Ben Stiller upon you as a director because you will he will take you to places that you you did not think you you were able to go to, you know what I mean, so. I, I really was more imagining what was happening and then trying to, because of course, I didn't know what the VFX was going to be. So, and Ben is telling me, so here's what's going to happen. You're going to do this. And then all this stuff is going to happen that you can't. And I was like, wait a minute, dude. He's like, you got to trust me. You got to trust me. I won't let you down. And I was like, I, I trust you, you know, I, he's a great director, he's a great actor, so I did. And then, you know, it, it, it worked out, but you know, you, you can trust the wrong person and then you, you I, that's happened to me too. And that's a disaster. Have you watched the finished episodes that you star in? I, I, uh, I, I actually did watch this. I generally do not watch anything. Um, I did watch these uh, because I, I'm so insanely proud of this show and, and like as a, as a complete product, you know what I mean? Um, that I just from a design standpoint and, you know, you know, cinematography and directing and the cast that I said, yeah, I, I I'm going to watch the whole thing. So I, I was lucky that I saw the premiere on a giant screen at the DGA, which was like, you know, I mean, um, that was mind bending. Uh, but yes, I did. I did watch this, but I generally do not watch. I've done there's movies that aren't that I've done that I don't even remember I was in that I've never seen. Um, I just can't. It's a longer conversation, but it's sometimes the um, the memory of making something is better than the than the finished product. That's fair. Well, I'm sure here it was very different just to watch it because a lot of the scenes that we see sh sort of jumping back and forth when PD is, is experiencing that, you know, time sickness is the word I would think of. I know that's probably not quite accurate here, but some version of that, that I'm sure you filmed those not at the same time. And so watching them put together was, was quite something. Not at this. No, I was curious how it was going to cut, uh, cut together. Uh, yes. Yeah. The, 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 you know, he's in that reintegration uh, sickness because he's the first one to do it. You know what I mean? And um, so, yeah, again, that was another thing. You know, we watched um, the seizure in the in the convenience store with the hemorrhaging. You know, we, we watched these uh, videos of grand mal and petite mal seizures. And, you know, again, you know, we're we're inventing something. So we, we, we borrowed from things, you know, and um, to sort of, uh, to make what reintegration seizure would be in a, that brain hemorrhaging. So, um, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, walk, we, we shot that in the winter walking in that robe uh, in like 20 degrees was, you know, thank God, um, uh, Sarah Edwards and uh, and Lucy Cobbs lined, uh, they lined the robe because uh, I, I mean, I had nothing under it, you know, I accept obviously underwear, but you know, it was cold and I was in slippers um, walking through the woods of upstate New York. 
Well, I'm sure you don't know and they don't know, but do you think there is a possibility that we see PD again in season two in flashbacks? You know, I, I don't know. I think that conversation has been had. It, it, it's, it's, that's out of my, um, you know, I, I don't know. I, I would be, I would be happy to return um, uh, and do anything there, you know, with, with them, you know, I am, um, uh, but who knows, you know, any, anything, I mean, the world of severance, anything is possible, you know, um, I have a, there's a fan that made the, um, made the chip, uh, she's making chips like the PD chip. And um, I, I, I have two of them. It's funny. I've, I've never had a, a prop from a show, but um, uh, it was cool. So I don't know. PD lives in that chip somewhere, you know? Funny. And I know you've done a lot of other TV work in your career and this season, especially you've also been on promised land. What can you share about the experience of working on that show? Promised Land was uh, was was very cool. Uh, um, you know, it was a it's a show that's thirty percent in in, uh, in 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 Spanish, which is I don't think we've ever seen on on, on television before. Um, and uh, uh, Matt Lopez is is somebody that I'd known, and I'd like you know, and wanted wanted to do something with him. And uh, and and John Ortiz is a guy I've known for thirty years, and the chance for us to play brothers was very very cool. Uh, I enjoy playing it. It's my, I think my third time playing a priest. I don't know what that says about me, um, <laughs> but uh, I really enjoyed it. I don't know what's going to happen with that. You know, it's uh, it's on Hulu now. And then, um, uh, and then I have that um, White House Plumbers coming out uh, with Woody Harrelson and, um, and Thoreau that David Mandel uh, did for HBO, which I think is going to be, uh, uh, that's, that's going to be funny. That's great. And I know, again, you've done a lot over the course of your career. Is there anything you haven't done yet that you'd really like to, to try at some point? You know, that I get asked that question a lot, man. It's, it's a tough one. I, uh, I, I really go by what the material is. And uh, um, if I see something amazing, um, is there things I want to do? Yeah, I think, you know, I, I think I'd love to play a painter, you know, um, um that's you know involved in some nefarious stuff you know in his life and uh but uh i i don't know it, i i I go, I go by what's in front of me i um uh it's hard to say what i would want to do i it, i usually answer something well written you know but uh i i'm spoiled i have to tell you because you know severance uh spoiled me um it's tough to come across that kind of writing again, but you know, it's, you just blessed, you just blessed with, you know, when, when the planets align, sometimes it's really when the, when beautiful things can happen. Yeah. Well, it's really great to get to uh, unpack this a little bit with you and I hope to see you again, maybe in season two and definitely in other projects in the future. So thank you so much for speaking with me today. And thank you so much, man. Thank you for taking the time. Of course. Pleasure. Take care. Thank you so much.